Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to the main stage, so to speak. Thank you so much for joining in once more. And I hope so far you've had an informative second day of Embedded World 2021 Digital. Now, as already mentioned yesterday, our sponsors, our exclusive partners are very dear to us, of course, and they are at the very heart of every trade fair show and also of our conference as well. And yesterday we already had the chance to speak to two representatives of our exclusive partners. There are exactly seven of them. And today we are lucky enough to be able to speak to one more of them. And I'm looking forward for him to join me remotely in just a minute. Now, thank you for joining us and welcome a huge virtual round of applause for our representative today from our exclusive partners, Senior Director at ARM. I would like to welcome Thomas Ansegui. Hi, Thomas. Hello, hi. Nice to meet you. Hi, and thanks for having there me he today. Is. Nice Hello, to meet you, Thomas. Nice All right, I'm going to switch to English to make it less embarrassing and not try to, uh, to add the, the French pronunciation to your name. Is that all right, Thomas? It's all fine. All right. <laughs> all good. Thomas, now it's wonderful that you could join us. Um, tell us, what is new from ARM this year? What will we be experiencing at this year's Embedded World 2021 Digital? Yes, good. Great question. So what's new from ARM, but also what's new from the ARM partnership? Because as you know, we have a lot of, uh, of vibrant and, and shared uh, innovations going on with our close partners. Let me pick a few. And I will start with the, with the proliferations of, um, of multi-core MCUs. And a great example is uh, Raspberry Pi Pico, which has been launched just recently, which includes two Cortex-M0 Plus uh, processors, one for the application and one for the flexible I.O. Um, another big news is we start to see uh, partners announcing products, which includes uh, ARM's uh, micro NPUs, so neural, uh, neural processors to accelerate uh, machine learning workloads. And here just yesterday, NXP has unveiled the uh, added MX9, uh, which includes ARM's uh, ESOS U65 micro NPU. Now from, from ARM, we also had a big, big news just, just last week, just ahead of Embedded World 2021. Uh, we just released our Cortex R52 Plus. Uh, this processor comes up with, with improved configurability for the time applications, uh, which also needs uh, functional safety. And this has a great processor to address uh, applications like in automotive domain controllers or motor control for electrical vehicles. Um, industrial robotics or avionics. And maybe a uh, last news I'd like to share with you today is uh, two years ago with our partners, we announced the, the platform security architecture so security is key for IoT to, to scale. And um, now two years later on, um, this program PC35 can demonstrate a strong traction with more than 60 products uh, which have been through uh, successfully through the certification and from uh, over 35 different partners. Congratulations on that, Thomas, and on everything else. That's quite a lot of news, uh, even for one entire conference week. That sounds fantastic. So there's a lot for our participants to look forward to when they have time to check that out. Now, Thomas, I did already state the importance of our partners, our sponsors for Embedded World 2021 Digital. On the other hand, or vice versa, what is the importance of the Embedded World to you uh, as a company? Oh yeah, I mean this event is one of the of the best event for us to to bring the, the embedded industry players together. I mean we are always amazed to see all our partners coming up and uh, showcasing their innovations and how they, they best leverage the ARM technology. Also having all these players, all these communities together, so it's bringing the, the software community, the hardware community, but also the, the tooling company. It's very important, especially now when we see much more uh, an increased importance of, of software, which is driving more and more the, the definition of the hardware. Uh, we see, for example, think about autonomous applications where there are so many different type of compute to be, to be combined. And um, all these computes or so this heterogeneous compute has to work seamlessly with, uh, with very complex software stacks. So having all these people together on the same event is very, very important for us moving forward. And maybe a last point, I mean, to me, it's, it's one of the, of the best events to take the, the pulse of the industry and, and to see directly with my eyes um, how we're we making a, 
uh, how the key trends around autonomous or endpoint AI are, are unfolding and, uh, and developing. And once again, a very positive outlook. Thank you for that, Thomas. Now, you did just mention, as an example, uh, some uh, features or some applications as examples. What do you think or what do you consider the biggest opportunities for embedded software developers for this year in general, for 2021? Yeah, so let me let me call out, let's say, two of them. So the, the first one to me is the well, a stage where we are about, it's about developing machine learning into to, to production ready um, IoT enabled applications. And, and to facilitate this, we, we have been putting through multiple initiatives. I will just pick two, two collaborations, which I think are very important for machine learning nowadays. So first of all, first of all, with uh, the first one with, with Google, we have been working to, to help and support uh, developers to, to build applications uh, dedicated for, for the energy constraint and cost constraint, uh, small MCUs using our CMC's NN library, but also using a uh, Google TensorFlow Lite micro framework. The, the other collaboration in this space, uh, which has been announced end of last year, is now with, with Microsoft. And here we're looking to, uh, to accelerate the, the development of the complete AI workload um, lifecycle, starting um, into, uh, with, the, with, the, with the training, with the tuning of the models uh, into, uh, into Microsoft Azure Cloud, and then how we can um, deploy on, the, on, the, on project these models into uh, any ARM-based endpoints. So a lot of, uh, of things in the machine learning field. The, the second opportunity that I'd like to call out today is, is how we can drive together the, the adoptions of, of cloud native um, DevOps driven approach into this space. And here also, let me just pick up just two, two initiatives, even if there are much more, starting with, uh, with the ARM uh, project Cassini. So here it's, um, it's, a, it's an, an open standard, open and standard based initiative, which aims to, to deliver um, a cloud native sort of experience across the, the, the secure ARM edge ecosystem. And this is more for the application processors or so microprocessors. And if you look more in terms of microcontrollers, uh, here we have just been announcing uh, the next generations of Cortex M tools. Uh, which is called the uh, ARM Cal Studio, uh, which will uh, make it easier and accelerate uh, development of uh, embedded application uh, with support now of cloud computing. So this uh, next generation of tools will come up with new features like, like Git, like a continuous integration, and also um, um, over the air programming. So a lot of new topics, uh, many of them will be discussed in, uh, in, in the, the track session, and I can only warmly invite you to, to join us. Thank you so much, Thomas, for that formal invite, and thank you for joining us, for introducing yourself, and of course, ARM, ladies and gentlemen, once more, we just had Thomas Anzeagui from ARM, and uh, we look forward to hearing and seeing more from you and about you. Thank you, Thomas, and all the best, and enjoy the rest of your conference week. Thank you, Aspen. Thank you for having me. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you so much. And we do have a couple minutes time left, so let me just give you a bit of housekeeping information, everyone. First of all, now you've just heard that there is a lot more to discover. There's so much to find out about our partners. So go, do go ahead and explore the sponsors' profiles. Be sure to take your time to do so. And always, of course, feel free to contact our sponsors and partners directly if you feel that you would like to obtain any further information about them. They're always looking forward to hearing from you. Now, just to pick up on some of the things that we just heard from uh, Thomas that he mentioned, we will be having a very exciting expert panel coming on later on about safety with Professor Dr. Frum, who uh, will be leading the panel. So that's something to look forward to coming up at 3.30, so uh, shortly, and that will be picking up on some of the subjects that Thomas did actually just mention. And also, do keep in mind that during any session, you have the possibility to ask live questions using our wonderful Slido tool, and Slido is a great tool because it makes it very 
very easy to keep this conference interactive, even virtually, and you can use Slido and make use of the chat box and the chat box function to ask our panelists and all of our speakers questions live. And the hosts of the panels will be returning and the hosts of uh, the keynote sessions will be returning to these questions at the end of each session and they will try to answer as many of those as possible. Don't forget also to upvote the questions you consider most relevant. Those are the first questions that will be asked at the end of each session. And now I see that we already have our lovely coach and mentor. She has already joined us and she's just about ready to go. You've already met her this morning. If you did join in, if you were a good boys and girls and you joined in this morning at 9 a.m. to start the day right, uh, right after the China session at 8 a.m., then at 9 a.m. you did experience Ulla already. Ulla Goldberg is a coach and mentor. And she's here to help us refill our energy tanks properly and to get a great and refreshed start into the afternoon. And I would now like to hand it over. Here comes Ulla.